Hello friends, welcome to Truth of Physics. Today in this video, I will discuss totally on this topic that is infinite potential well or which we call the particle in a box in quantum mechanics. So this is a very important theory or important concept you can say uh, which is uh, whose application is involved in uh, nuclear physics and in uh, many branches of physics like uh, solid state physics uh, like uh, uh, I can say some models like a uh, chronic painting model chronic painting model uh, you can find it in solid state physics so where you have to use this concept and in nuclear physics also to uh, understand the, um, the phenomena say, in uh, side the nucleus so in in this in that cases you have to use this quantum mechanical ideas like uh, infinite potential well and uh, you have to use the potential step the barrier potential the penetration depth and the tunneling effect all these things okay so these topics are like the infinite potential well the barrier potential the step potential i have discussed the step potential in detail uh, in a video so the link i will give in the description box so these these things are very much important very much basic things so what is a infinite potential well so if you have a quantum particle in quantum mechanics then you may face a problem like this so where you have a uh, potential like this i have drawn the uh, figure of potential here uh, this is suppose the origin o oh, this is the x axis this is the y-axis and along the y-axis suppose we draw the uh, potential p of x or v of x v of x okay now you can see there at origin the potential tends to infinity so the potential is infinity at this origin and outside and um, in the left hand side also the potential is infinite suppose and in this region only suppose it is a 0 to L this distance is L so 0 to L the potential V of X is equals to 0 and outside this region the potential is equals to infinity then as here in this case the potential is 0 so I can say if we have a quantum particle here in this region in this uh, region 0 to L then this particle is nothing but a free particle as a potential or you can uh, imagine it as a restriction on a particle okay suppose uh, you have uh, a particle which is restricted to conf uh, which is restricted fully then it is very much natural that uh, this particle cannot move right but uh, in a similar fashion if a particle uh, experiences no potential that is uh, there is no interaction with the particles or uh, there is nothing influencing the particle then the particle behaves as a free particle so uh, we use the schrodinger wave equation to uh, find out all the uh, necessary details that we need uh, of that particle or of, of the state and energies uh, of that particle so the actual equation is like the eigenvalue equation uh, which you I think uh, have done in quant in uh, mathematical physics the eigenvalue problems right so a is shy shy is what the eigenfunction or here in quantum mechanics it is called the wave function a shy is equals to or you, you can write it uh, like this this is operator h operator Hamiltonian operator A is equals to E shy E is what this is if you think of it in uh, mathematical physics physics then it is nothing but our uh, this is this is nothing but our eigenvalue so here in quantum mechanics we call it energy eigenvalue okay energy eigenvalue so A shy is equals to E shy now A is what the Hamiltonian minus H square square by 2m d2 psi over dx square plus means h means what the total energy okay now this is what h minus h square over 2m d2 over dx square this term is nothing but our um, kinetic energy term and when it operate on it this is this will look like this plus the potential energy term and potential energy is varying with the distance x which is a function so potential energy is v of x into psi is equals to e of psi 
So if we do the equation for this region where v of x is equals to 0, so if we put v of x is equals to 0, so for this region the Schrodinger's equation look like this uh, from generalizing it, right. So here if we um, think it of a differential equation then we can solve it this is m square plus uh, I think this uh, something like this um, k square is equals to 2 let k square is equals to 2 m e over h cut square let and then what happens m square plus k square is equals to 0 that means m is equals to uh, plus minus i k. So, the solution of this differential equation will be psi is equals to a sin of k x plus b cos of k x. So, now we will use some uh, boundary condition okay like at x equals to 0 what happens at x equals to 0 you can see there at x equals to 0 potential is infinite. So, you can say that as the potential here is infinite so the wave function is equals to 0 as the particle cannot move here it is not free here it is completely restricted so the psi will be 0 here so the psi of x is 0 here and at x equals to l also the case will be same psi of x will be 0 there at this point okay so so um, from these tools I can write this uh, it is, is equals to 0 and from here put b equals to 0 here then it will be psi equals to a sin of kx this will only left then we will put uh, x equal to l here then a sin of kl right. So from here means this will be kl so for this to be 0 you can understand that this angle kl must be equals to n pi that means uh, k is equals to n pi over l that means if we put this thing uh, here in this equation here in this equation then we will get the uh, solution of the Schrodinger equation and which is equal so I think that you know that uh, for a acceptable wave function the wave function must be square integrable that means the probability of finding that particle uh, in the whole space or in, in the whole over the region that means from minus infinity to plus infinity minus infinity to plus infinity the probability of finding the particle psi star psi dx must be equals to 1 this is a condition of a acceptable wave function so if we put this so from there we can find the value of a how let us understand this so this is called also the normalization process you can say that as the particle cannot be present outside this box outside this infinite square well or infinite potential well as the particle cannot present in outside this uh, region so we can define that this minus infinity here is what is 0 to minus infinity to plus infinity just converges to 0 to well as this is nothing the this is completely sure that the particles wave function the particle or the particle can be found only in this region 0 to l and nothing else so i can just uh, restrict the area from minus infinity to plus infinity or convert it to 0 to l only so uh, from here if we do this integration then the value of a will comes out to be root over 2 over l 2 over l so putting it here the psi will be finally equals root over 2 over l sin n pi x over l so this is the wave function of the square well potential okay now this is what this is i have done this for one d case okay one another thing that uh, what is the energy of that particle so e is equals to what a square square over 2 a square square k square a square square k square over 2m so here it is what the k square and k square is nothing but this n square pi square over l square so n square pi square over l square so i can rearrange this n square pi square h cut square over 2 m l square this is the energy okay or uh, for mathematical uh, problems solving mathematical problems you may uh, also know the another form like this if we l square as h cut is equals to h over 2 
5. So if we put this, we will get this. So this is another uh, expression. Now we have discussed this for 1D case. For oh, this is uh, what for 1D case. For 2D case, what will be the case? So I am removing this thing in 2D. There will be two coordinates x and y. The length will be confined in x-axis and also in y-axis. So there are two. There can be two cases. Uh, where the uh, case number one. Suppose here the length along the x and y-axis are same. So that will be a square. And if the um, length is not same okay if the length is not same like this so root over 2 over a sine of uh, in x pi x over l the length along the length along the x axis is what a and the length along the y axis is suppose b different from a then the ultimate wave function the actual wave function uh, total wave function will be like this the multiplication of the both root over 2 over b sine in y pi y over b similarly for 3d case you can find and the energy what will be the energy e x comma y in 2d case uh, this will be in x as now n will be different n is what n was in actually represents the excited state which excited state the particle belongs to or uh, you, you can uh, f, um, remember that this uh, we find that from uh, like uh, equating sine uh, uh, sine suppose uh, there was kl i think uh, and that was equals to our um, zero and from there we have calculated kl is equals to n pi and from there uh, we have calculated k is equals to n pi over l and we put that in the equation of psi in the expression of psi so n you can think that n can be as here k uh, l is equals to n pi from here and uh, you can understand that n can be anything like 0 1 2 3 dot 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 yes you are right but here this 0 cannot be possible why cannot be possible because you can easily understand that if we put suppose you have a, if we have a wave function like this uh, now if we put n equals to 0 then this total term will be 0 and this will be 0 the wave function will be 0 that means there is no probability of finding the particle which is impossible the particle is present but why it is showing psi equals to 0 that means it belongs to uh, this have no wave function corresponding to the particle so this is not possible so that's why 0 n equals to 0 cannot be possible now e x comma y can will be equals to for 2d case n x square pi square h cut square over 2 m l square plus n y square uh, pi square h cut square over 2 m this is a square and this is p square right now as this video is going to longer so i will divide it into two parts and the second part where i will give in the description box the link of the second part when will uh, when it will be made and uh, in that video i will discuss the uh, potential the potential way for uh, symmetric potential way. symmetric means water nothing symmetric is very much easy like this here we have the origin here and in symmetric well the origin will be here that means here this will be suppose l over 2 and here this will be l over 2 then what will the uh, equations uh, what will the energy eigenvalues expression of energy eigenvalues and what will be the uh, psi in that case we will discuss in the uh, next part of that of this video okay and <coughs> lastly we will do a thing which is very much interesting in this video and that is uh, suppose um, the wave function is what psi is equals to for 1d case root over 2 over l sine n pi x over l n can have values 1 to 1 to infinity right then this is this is our well this is at x equals to 0 this is as uh, l so for n equals to 1 for n equals to 1 what will happen you can understand that for n equals to 1 this will be the case so at x equals to 0 if we want to plot this so for x, x equals to 0 this will be 0 and for x equals to uh, l this will be 0 so th these are two points and what will the maximum value at l over 2 at the middle L over 2 it will be 1 that means root over 2 over L which is its maximum value so this will be like this the wave function here it is wave function plot of wave function so the points of where psi of x is equals to 0 is called the nodes 
and of where the psi of x is equals to the maximum is called the antinode. Now, uh, I will discuss a short trick to find this for any uh, arbitrary wave function later. Now, if we draw an another picture psi of x for n equals to 2. For n equals to 2, what will happen? For If we do for n equals to 2, then this will be like this. So, you can easily understand that for L, putting L, this will be vanished, 0. For L uh, over 2, this will also vanish. That means, uh, at L equals to L by 2, there is also an node, right? And here it is also a node at L and here it is a node. That means an another or an extra node is added from here to here. If we uh, just add a uh, energy state, right? So this function will be like this, right? This is called anti-symmetric. This is called symmetric. How this happens, I will discuss in later videos. Now, okay. And another plot is the probability or the um, psi square. The graph of psi square will be what? If we do the square here, then this part, the uh, below part will be just reflected upward. So, this will be just upward. Right? Now, a short trick to uh, remember this or a short trick to find that uh, what will be number of nodes for any uh, arbitrary wave function. So, the short trick is very much simple and very much useful also. So, if we have uh, like this n equals to 2, then what will be the number of nodes here? You can see excluding the boundaries, these are what the boundaries. So, if we exclude the boundary, the number of nodes is 1. And including the boundary, the number of nodes is 3. That means excluding the boundary, the nodes, number of nodes, number of nodes, if we generalize it, number of nodes excluding the boundary, excluding, excluding the boundary will be n minus 1, just do this for n equals to 2, then it maps. For n equals to 1 like this, n minus 1 means 1 minus 1, that means 0. There is no node excluding the boundary and that is right. Excluding these boundaries, there is no node inside. So, that is true. So, n minus 1 and including the boundary, if we include the boundary, then what will be this? Including, including the boundary, that will be simple n plus 1. So, this is the number of nodes. Anti nodes anti and the number of anti nodes will be just equals to n you can match this for n equals to 1 the anti node is 1 for n equals to 1 the anti node is 1 and for n equals to 2 the anti nodes number of anti nodes is just 2 so as n equals to 2 the number of anti nodes is 2 so it is matched so these are the short list to find this in uh, you can use this use this in problem solving problem so i think that the whole concepts and all the mathematical calculations and all the tricks i've discussed in this video is very much helpful uh, so if you have uh, really benefited this video then share this video with your friends and take care of yourself thanks for watching